In this video we're going to look at setting up Pi Amiga, an Amiga emulation and games bundle for the Raspberry Pi. The first thing you need to do is download the image file from the link in the description. Once you've uncompressed the files into one image, then you need to write it to your SD card using the Raspberry Pi official imager or etcher or any of the similar tools. After you've done that, you'll need to copy the ROM files. I got mine from Amiga Forever and there's a couple of other places you can get them, both legal and not legal. You need to copy those files over to the SD card and then rename them according to the instructions. After you've done that, you'll probably set up Wi-Fi. There's a couple of text files on the SD card that will configure your Wi-Fi on first boot. First you set the Wi-Fi to be enabled and then secondly you set password in the Wi-Fi TXT file. You can also set your Wi-Fi up after boot. It just means dropping down into the command line. The username is root and the password is pymega. Once you get to the command line, there's a configuration tool that you can enter and you can set up your ethernet, you can set up your Wi-Fi and some other stuff. You can also update the software and install other software right there. So for example, if you want to have remote access via VNC. PyMeager includes a lot of software and it's not strictly legal so best thing to do would be to run antivirus as soon as you've got it set up and installed. It takes a long time but you can fix your files and know that you're virus free. As you can see, the Pi is actually a great machine for emulating the Amiga and it has excellent performance. It emulates a 6840 with lots of RAM.